Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Grant Hardy. Although I am blind, although I don't see a lot, I still see all the beauty around it. Like I focus in on the trees and the colors outside and just the differences in how the world takes shape around you. Even though I can't see very far, I still like to take in the scenery and appreciate everything that's around me. As a partially sighted visual artist, Violet Peterson is often asked how she puts paint to canvas. What I mostly do is I will get up close to my canvas or use what's called a CCTV reader. Um, and that has like a, a camera on it that can enlarge the object that is in front of you. Or with my digital art specifically, I use my iPad at the moment and I can use the zoom in feature or magnification in order to get as close to it as I possibly need to because I don't see detail or sometimes even the whole shape outside. I'll look up photos and kind of get a grasp as to what the shape is, paint that out or draw that out, and then zoom into the photo in order to get a more accurate detailed perspective on it. As her style evolves, Violet's learned that she loves to paint the pretty colors she sees in nature. It would be sunset colors, mostly working in like blue, purple, pink, orange, yellow, that kind of range, and then adding a little bit of red in there. I like sunset and sunrises, mostly sunsets. The colors in the sky are really, really pretty, and I want to recreate them in almost all of my pieces. One of Violet's paintings is especially intricate. I named it Hidden Cove, and it's a rocky shoreline against like a, a lake with like a hidden waterfall behind a bunch of foliage. And it's kind of iterating like a peaceful atmosphere, somewhere you can go and just be, your, be by yourself and enjoy the view. When Violet began sharing her story and her artwork, both in person and on social media, she discovered she had a role as both artist and advocate. People are really confused about how a blind person can do art up until I show them what my art is. I've had people um, say, oh, you're not blind because you're doing this. I've had people be just awe-inspired. They're like, oh my God, that's amazing. I love that. And I love that for you. And they're just really supportive. I like being an ambassador for the community. I really don't mind it at all. So I've never minded the questions. And it is a part of my life, so if I if I don't like the questions, like it just feels like I'm shunning this part of my life. Natasha Karch is an old friend of Violet's since their high school days, who now helps Violet with promoting her art in person and at art showcases, and on her website, violetpetersonart.com. She's thrilled Violet has embarked upon her artistic journey. My first initial reaction was like, of course you do. Of course you want to prove like everybody wrong, you know? Because I feel like for so long, she's been told like this, this narrow selection over here, these are things you can do as a disabled person. And she's like, no, like if I want to, if I like it, if I'm good at it, I'll make it my career. So going into art, I've, I've always known she's a fabulous artist, but I was just like, yeah, like that, that makes absolute sense for who she is and what she stands for. As for Violet, it's simple. Art is limitless. I like that I can do whatever I want with it. My perspective, draw what I want, paint what I want, and then share it with the world.